This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. It is for entertainment purposes only. It's the one, the only, a father in the house, baby! Wow! Okay, just wanted to make a video, a very strong ape, Jason Umberger. He said, uh, hey Richie, love your channel, bro. I know this is a debatable topic, but I promise it's a big factor needing high consideration now. We need to recommend apes to transfer over to non-payment for order flow brokers like Fidelity, you know, and buy or trade directly to the New York Stock Exchange to stop them with no more rerouting to the dark pools, blah, blah, blah. It's a most important issue to beat these criminals and punch through to Pluto. I understand what you're saying, um, and it's a great, great point, Jason, but I don't think you're considering a few things, All right? Like, let me give you an example. Would you agree there's a lot of corruption going on with Citadel and with Ken Griffin? Okay. So we maybe only know, look at me, a tiny percent of the corruption that's going on, <laughs> right? You know, there might be a whole pizza pie, baby, that we don't know what's going on out there, okay? Like, I got to watch a lot of the things I say because, you know, I don't want to make any accusations. I don't want anything to be legally binding. This is entertainment purposes only. We're having a conversation. How do you know for a fact, you're right, Jason, how do you know for a fact Ken Griffin doesn't have the New York Stock Exchange, for instance, in his pocket? Do you know that for a fact? Because let me give you an example. I made a video on the Georgia Senator Kelly Loeffler, okay, whose husband... Uh, Jeffrey uh, Spreacher. Let me tell you who Jeffrey Spreacher, Spreacher is, just to give you an example, okay? He is the founder and chairman of the Inter Intercontinental Exchange and the chairman of the New York Stock Exchange, okay? Do you know that Ken Griffin donated, like, millions to them? I don't know if you know that. Okay, all right. So, I'm just trying to make a... This is what I'm trying to make you understand. We don't know... What's going on with anything? I mean, you guys, like, I, I mean, I'm not, like, I know everybody hates Robin Hood. I get it. I get it. Believe me, I do. But, like, you guys make it, like, Weeble, like, you know, is, like, the angels from heaven and Fidelity are the angels from heaven. And, you know, all of these different exchanges, E-Trade, uh, TD Ameritrade, <laughs> they're all angels. They're hanging out in the Vatican with the Pope. How do you know what's going on with these with these other you know brokers and uh, exchanges? How do you you don't know nothing? You're assuming. I mean, I, I said this before in a video. When you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. So so this is how I'm going to answer your question, Jason. The A father looks at the most important thing that matters the most, and you want to know what matters the most? Getting paid. That's what matters the most to me, and. Here's what I feel. When you have a cash account, a cash account, not a margin account, legally, all of these exchanges cannot sell your shares. They can't do it, Jason, okay? <laughs> Listen, forget about dark pools, forget about rerouting, all this stuff for a second. Let's just talk about having the ability, okay, to sell your shares, okay, when you want to sell them, okay? So when you have a cash account, Okay, Robinhood, Fidelity, E-Trade, uh, TD Ameritrade, Webull, they cannot sell your shares without your permission. They can't do it, okay? With a margin account, they can. And I think, I'll, you know what's funny is every time I make a video about this, I notice more and more apes come out and notice that they actually do have margin accounts. A lot of them don't under, a lot of apes still to this day, and I made at least five videos on this, still to this day do not, can't differentiate between a cash account and a margin account, okay? Whenever you're using, whenever you're using money that's not yours, it's a margin account, pure and simple. So here's an example, if let's say, you buy $1,000 worth of stock, right? And let's just call it Fidelity. You're, you're, you're using Fidelity. Fidelity, are you ready? Gives you the ability to trade right away. 
So in other words, you buy a thousand dollars worth of stock. Fidelity gives you an instant deposit. You can now go buy uh, AMC stock the same day that you bought the thousand dollars worth of stock. That's a margin account. Now, what I'm trying to make, Jason, you understand and all the apes understand is Fidelity is not an angel, okay? Because if there's a squeeze, all right, and you have a margin account with Fidelity, they're going to sell your shares without your permission. You know, guys, if you do your DD, your due diligence, okay? And if you look into what happened with GameStop, it wasn't just Robin Hood. It wasn't just Robin Hood. Okay, Fidelity, Webull, E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, they all sold people's stock without their permission with GameStop. If you don't believe me, look it up. If you don't believe the A-Father, look it up. Now, I am not an advocate of Robin Hood. I think that Robin Hood made a tremendous amount of mistakes. You know, remember the A-Father had like 10, uh, 12 beers? What was it, like two days ago? And I made that video where I said they shut off the sell button. I meant to say the buy button, but I was finishing uh, I was finishing my 12 B. I passed out. <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, once again, listen to me. The whole controversy with, oh my God, if they shut off the buy button, what are we going to do? Here's the way the A-Father sees that whole situation. When an exchange, when, when a broker like Robinhood sell, you sh stop, sh shuts off the buy button, okay? They're doing it because there's no more stock, there's no more available stocks. You, don't you understand? There's no more available shares, there's no more available shares. That's why they're doing that. And it's not just going to be Robin Hood. It could be Fidelity who does this. It could be TD Ameritrade who does this. It could be uh, E-Trade. It could be Webull. It's not just Robin Hood. If you're in a squeeze, right, and everybody is buying like crazy, and there's no available shares, you will see other brokers, other exchanges do the same thing. So why can't we just simplify this, guys? Look, if it makes apes feel better, listen to me. If you feel better to deal with fidelity, listen to me, do it, do it, deal with fidelity. I am not telling you, and I want to be perfectly crystal clear on this. I am not telling you to deal with Robin Hood. I am not telling you to deal with Robin Hood. You're an adult, correct? Are you an adult? Okay, you make the best decision that you feel comfortable with. You want to deal with Fidelity? Deal with Fidelity. You want to deal with Webull? Deal with Webull. You want to deal with E-Trade? Deal with E-Trade. That's it. I'm not telling you otherwise. Do whatever you want. But, but this is the thing I'm trying to make you understand. Stop acting like they're all angels. Like, you know, now that just because you're dealing with fidelity, right? You're dealing with fidelity. Now it's like uh, you could pretty much write your own ticket. Like, you know, you got a ticket to ride. No, you don't have a ticket to ride. You're not John Lennon, okay? You still have to follow the law. And fidelity still has to follow the law, okay? And if you have a margin account, right, and you're with fidelity, they're going to sell your friggin' stock without your permission. So it doesn't make a difference if you're with Robin Hood, Fidelity, E-Trade, doesn't make a difference who you're with. Doesn't make a difference, okay? And as far as the whole dark pool thing, Jason, we can't control it. This is something that, you know, everybody keeps talking about the dark pool. This is the hedge funds thing, member only, it's their own thing. We don't know, you know, I, I go through this all the time. We, 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 you know, Lou talks about the dark pools. You know, all these other a AMC, uh, you know, YouTubers talk about the dark. Here's the way I see it. You want to know the way I see it? I can only sell, right, at the price that I see on my screen. That's it. I can't sell at the price of the dog pools. So to me, the dog pools is is is, is just as irrelevant as when Lou tries to get a friggin' uh, a chipmunk. He tries to steal the friggin' nuts from the chipmunks, okay? Listen, it's irrelevant. It's like you're talking about a conversation that we have absolutely no control over. We, we don't control the dog pool price, okay? So why can't we just focus on the things, right, that we have control over? Is, is that too much to ask? What do we have control over? We could buy the dip, 
correct? Okay, we could buy, uh, here's another thing. Some wise guy, what's his name? Gio Rio, I think his name was, or some crazy name. He tells me, I think he's a Citadel State, personally. He tells me, hey, father, what you're doing is criminal. You're, you're asking people to borrow money. You're asking people to, to use money they don't have to buy and see. Correction, no, I am not doing that. I am not doing that. I am just saying that we are at war. Citadel is attacking us every day. And it's not such a bad idea if we attack them, right? Would you agree? We're at war. Why can't we attack Citadel? So all I'm saying is to try to just keep buying, but here's what I'm saying. Ready? Let me be perfectly clear. If you cannot afford to buy one single share of AMC, buy fractional shares. Like, it, let's say, here's an example, right? Let's say you got $3 to your name. All right. And let's just pretend AMC is somewhere like, you know, in the 30s. OK, what you're not understanding is you're buying about 10 percent of one share. So let me let me let me give you the math on that. Let's say AMC goes to five hundred thousand dollars a share. Right. Right. That three dollars now is worth fifty thousand dollars. Gabish. You understand what I'm saying to you? That $3, that fractional share is now worth $50,000. So all I'm simply saying is if you cannot afford to buy one single share, buy fractional shares, buy a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. That's it. I, and the guy's telling me what I'm saying is criminal, what I'm saying is a disgrace. Yeah, all right, whatever. L listen, guys. <laughs> listen, buy... Hold with diamond balls of steel and share my videos every day. That, that, that doesn't cost you anything. Would you at least agree that sharing my videos on your social media and talking about the movement and building up the army, that doesn't cost you anything. So there's really no excuse, right? Why every single ape should not be sharing my videos or sharing other AMC videos and building up our army. There's really no excuse for that one. But if you can't buy any AMC, hold with diamond balls of steel. If you happen to have an extra couple of dollars, buy fractional shares that's all the eight fall is saying all right and as far as the exchanges guys if it makes you feel comfortable to deal with fidelity do it but don't think that just because you deal with fidelity that you got a ticket to ride you can have a margin account you got absolutely nothing to worry about because you don't you still have to have a cash account you still have to follow the rules and the fidelity has to also follow the law that's all i'm saying with that okay thank you